The critic's citation was, for waging war so successfully and for making the album of the same name an acclaimed bestseller in Ireland, England, Europe and in America, the award goes to you 2 I must point out that the boys have flown in from a photo session in Paris just to be here tonight. Larry, Adam and Bono and uh, manager Paul McGuinness. Uh, Bono, a word or two? Um, maybe. Um, I think you, you said about making war successfully. I think maybe everybody in this building is in some ways trying, trying to make war. I see it as a war against mediocrity, a war against what people expect from Irish groups, a war against writers who can't write, a war against um, leaders who can't lead, maybe, I don't know. Well, we've got Adam and Bono and Phil here. That's a real collection of award winners here. Is there a conspiracy being cooked up at the moment that you're going to do production for their next number? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're discussing tea parties. No, I'm, I'm trying to find out how to get a number one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're discussing how to survive 15 years in the business, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, have you got any advice, Phil, to pass on to you two? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just wish them the best of luck. Right. Yeah. Right. Do you think that you see yourselves in Phil's position in 15 oh, years' yeah. time? Swap places if you want. Um, in, in 15 years' time? I don't know. I think uh, Phil wouldn't want us to copy him. And uh, we, we, you know, we've never tried to copy anybody. We, we actually did and failed. But uh, you know, originally, it's very important that a band develops its own character. That's what U2 is about. I hope we'll still be here in 15 uh, years' time.